Well, my name is Mike Westendorf. I'm the Director of Operations for a program that we have at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee called Innovative Weather, and it's a 24-hour uh, day, seven-day a week forecast operation. We uh, hire our students who are earning their degrees or have already earned their degrees to work in a real-world setting. Innovative Weather has a fully equipped weather forecast office that includes radar, satellite, a state-of-the-art uh, weather forecast model that's uh, been optimized to fit the needs of our specific clients. It's just like if you're walking into a weather service office. Our involvement with Innovative Weather is they provide us with daily weather reports. Several of those are, are detailed where we have specific hour-by-hour -hour predictions of when forecasts of when the weather is going to be, what it's going to be, temperature, if there's going to be precipitation. We use the, the weather report to plan for outages. If, if we think there's a big storm coming, we'll put people on standby or hold them over so that we're able to respond quickly to outages when they do occur. You know, essentially, my first job was really my second job because my first job was Innovative Weather. I'm Chris Spinagel. I'm a 2007 graduate from the Master's Program in Atmospheric Science here. I currently work as a research meteorologist for the National Weather Service and the University of Oklahoma. So you're able to learn the theories and the methods and things that you need to carry on to the real world. And with Innovative Weather, it was able to bridge that gap. And so I wasn't just learning in the classroom. I was able to take that and apply to real world experience and that I think really launched me. I am a associate scientist at NCAR, it's the National Center for Atmospheric Research, and I graduated in 2008 with a Master's of Science in Mathematics and with the Atmospheric Science Group. Meteorology and the atmospheric sciences are a very competitive field. There are so many meteorology programs out there, so many students in those meteorology programs, but there are only a finite number of jobs for those students out there. Innovative weather here at UWM enables students to get hands-on meteorology, atmospheric science forecasting experience in the context of their actual undergraduate or even graduate level studies. Most of what we are doing in terms of forecasting is risk assessment and in order for us to do that we really need to know what makes you as the client or the company nervous. We really need to understand that so that we can give the best information. They took the initiative to come in and learn our business and learn what we use that weather report for and how we used it. They understood our actions that we were taking and the cost of those actions. It bridges the gap between what you learn in the classroom and the methods, the techniques, uh, the theory, and it bridges that with an operational setting. So within Innovative Weather, we were in a real world setting with real world consequences, with real world clients that depended on our knowledge and our expertise. Innovative Weather provides an opportunity for students to gain practical experience, so essentially taking what they've learned in classes and applying it to the real world. And where that has value is because it grounds the theory. Mother Nature does not let you get away with anything. It provides instant feedback. And so by paying attention, you learn where you went wrong and how to improve on that for the next time. You become a better forecaster and a better meteorologist. They're experiencing what it's like to be up at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, to do morning radio and they're experiencing what it's like to have to deal with severe weather until 2 o'clock at night. Uh, the students are committed to learning, they're committed to providing that service, they're getting real life experience by, by performing this function for us. That's the type of service that you don't get with the National Weather Service. And their enthusiasm is, is really what sets them apart. What attracted me to this program is um, it's small, and so there's a small amount of faculty and a relatively small group of undergrads and graduates, so you get to know them really well. There's a lot of interaction and a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. You know, one of the things that we want people to know about is that we're here. Uh, there are a lot of people in southeast Wisconsin who are interested in the field of meteorology, go to a number of different places, who've never heard that we have this kind of an academic and internship program here at, at UWM. You know, as long as the enthusiasm is there for the students. I don't see where it could end. I mean, really, it could just keep going on and on. To see where it started when you had just one room and, and two desks and you know, a couple of crazy students willing to give it a shot to, to where it's at now is, is pretty amazing.